Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Um, Frank Garcia's Fang the Aces. Yeah, you might have noticed I'm using a different packet. Um, using a borderless deck, as I did in the performance, is very, very risky. Because you are going to have facing up cards in your packet. And all it takes is just the smallest of movements, and you are going to be caught out that you've got a face up card. Right, so... Don't use a borderless deck, unless you're very careful. Right, four, you do need the four aces. And when you put them, put, I'll tell you in a minute. And you also need the seven, any seven. Put the seven on the top. Now, with your packet facing up, stick your ace of spades in near the face, followed by your ace of hearts, right? Spades and hearts. These two can go in any order you want them to go in. They're not that important. Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Spades are, right? So you got them in. You start off saying that you're going to show a, a find four aces. And if you want to, you can have a little laugh, as I did in the performance. You know, yeah, this isn't the effect. This isn't me finding the four aces. This is just me finding the four aces. Whatever. And you take the four aces out. And it also gives the appearance that everything's okay in the packet, which obviously it is. Because there's nothing turned over. As you're squaring them up, all nice on the table, you're going to get a pinky pull down on the seven, and you're just going to, well, you can pull it back into your hand, have it hidden as you talk for a little bit, and you're just going to turn the packet over onto the top of it, so it's facing up on the bottom. You're then going to explain that you're going to lose the four aces in four different ways, and then you're going to find them again in four different ways. And while you're doing that, you're going to be shuffling one, two, three cards off, splitting your hands. One, two, three cards off, splitting your hands. One, two, and three cards off, and splitting your hands. Then you're going to put this packet on the top, being careful not to flash the bottom card, which is your face up seven of hearts. So that they actually go on and you've got an in jog at the back to have your hand just tilted so they don't see the in jog. Right, so you got that there. Push down on it with your thumb so you can close up and catch a thumb break, which you then turn into a pinky break. As you cut out of this top packet, a third off the top, and then half of what's left. And then put down everything above your little pinky and then you put that one down there right so you break about a third off you break that about into half you put that one down there and you put that one down there be careful with this packet because that has got your face up seven on the bottom you take the packet underneath your card first to your right fan out the cards and what you're going to do in a quick movement is move it across the packet Pull it in between the third and fourth cards and pull it right around so it looks now like it's in the middle of the packet. So you've just gone like that. We've just lose the card somewhere into the middle. Close it up. Right. We'll put the ace of diamonds on next or whatever ace you've got there. Put that on. We pick that packet up, putting the face up seven right on top of that ace. You'll pick up the next packet and put it on the top. Picking up the ace of hearts, putting it on catching a pinky break, turn it into a thumb break and then just double undercut that ace of hearts to the bottom. Be careful you do not cut at the seven, give everything away. That's lowish down to the bottom, so cut above half of the packet, bring that to the top, put it on top of your break, take everything from under the break and put that onto the top. That's then put that ace down to the bottom. You put the ace of spades sticking out, put the rest of the packet on, and just lose the ace into the middle. You then say you're going to get a card to reveal itself and be an indicator. Explain what an indicator is if you need to, and um, the value of it will indicate where the chosen card, or in this case, the, an, an ace is. Do your little magic gesture. Spread through the packet till you find your face up seven. Take this packet and put it facing up on the table. 
oh sorry as you're spreading out spread just past the seven so when you're taking this off you can pull them back and get a pinky break underneath the top two cards right so that gets put there like that pull them forward the two cards you got an ace underneath it value of seven put that onto the packet and say so we'll count down seven cards one two three four five and six i take the seventh card and you find the first ace turn this packet over put it onto the top pick everything up and um, let's do away with the indicator let's just get the next ace to reveal itself do your little magic move go through the packet and you'll find eventually a facing up ace put this packet to the bottom take off your ace of diamonds or your ace of clubs whichever one it is right false cuts if you want don't do any false cuts before this point because you've got face up cards in your packet and you might flash so from here you can do false cuts um any kind of false shuffle or whatever you want to do and um, let's go for the ace of hearts next um spell it a c e o f h e a r t and there's the ace of hearts drop these onto the top and pick all of them up that leaves you with your ace of spades on the top of the packet which you now shuffle to the bottom of the packet as easy as that as you're saying that the ace of spades is going to be more spectacular or whatever you can produce the ace of spades any way you want to from this point because this next part is a little bit on the advanced side you'll do a riffle shuffle dropping your ace of spades down first if you do that and drop too many cards no big one shuffle it properly and go again until you've just dropped just the ace these cards are a bit thick my own design and they're a bit thick unbelievable one card shuffle them all in push them so they're about a third of the way into each other at this point you've got the ace of spades there on its own on the bottom so from this side you're going to tilt pick the packet up and tilt it that takes it off your card so you're just going to pick it up and tilt it and then you slide that packet forward so that ace goes in the middle of them if you can see what i mean you get up there and you'll be able to see better straighten them up so you can see yeah so that's what you do and you do that so that card is just in jogged to you so you can see it it's hidden by the packet but you can just see where the ends of that card are right cut the packet in half and pick that up and put it down and now you know where the ends of it are i'm going something's going to right what's going wrong if i get them cards moved there get everything all nice and square for this next bit think because you're going to pick everything up and you're just going to turn your hand in the packet got too tight a grip and that old card will come out and spin onto the table hopefully i did say that it's an advanced move yeah, no start with that side so they go in about that much about a, about a quarter to a third so as you can see it looks about that far into the packet yeah you'll cut you'll pick up you'll put onto the top you'll pick everything up and then with a quick movement about a million cards come out of the packet but there's the one you want hmm. probably a bad deck to use for this one probably i'll give it one more go and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but you'll get the idea so that's all together there that's there you break that in half you'll pick that up you put that on the top you'll pick everything up and you go whew, and the card will come out like that it should be their card i say it is a bit of an advanced one so if you want to produce it any other way you want to that is totally up to you you've got control of it it's on the bottom 
give us a number 17 um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 a bottom deal why not you could do it any way you wanted but anyway i'm going to shut up because i've been on way too long um i do hope you enjoyed that then that watched thank you very much and i'll see you again soon